Well, hello there. It's that time again. Time for the blog that truly blazes. Here on this beautiful Friday afternoon, April the 19th of 2013, as usual, what I'm going to do is go over the energies of the previous week's reading, what we're coming into right now, and, of course, always most interesting, what lies ahead of us at the end of this week. So do stay tuned. More to follow. Okay, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. And this card is the Six of Discs, or Pentacles, if you're used to right away terminology. Now this is a very pleasant card. It is entitled Success, and it is Moon in Taurus, astrologically. Very pleasing because the Moon deals with tides and fluctuations, and Taurus is fixed Earth energy. So it's suggestive of harvest, suggestive of taking advantage of tides, of changes in energy, and changes of situations, and getting at least some of the th results that we have sown. Okay, He's getting something out of it. So this may have been a time when you found that things were working out for you, things were manifesting, stuff that you had invested in, whether time, energy, or money, okay? all the same thing. Basically, you saw a return on it may not have been major, but you did manifest something for something that you had already invested in. And of course, that's always a fulfilling and pleasant energy. We just kind of need to watch where our heads are going. That's right. The next card we're coming into is a Nine of Swords. Mm. Entitled Cruelty. Mm. Bloody Swords. Angry Energy. Mars in Gemini. Now, you know, I felt that around me a lot lately, that that blast in Boston was upsetting. Okay, and I know a lot of people are really, really angry about that, whether you're in Boston or not. It's an upsetting kind of thing. Uh, and it can be hard to deal with that energy at times. And I kind of just felt it and experienced some of that myself. And all I can say is we need to focus on what we need to focus on day by day. Those who did this will be caught They'll get their justice. They'll be, I believe there will be justice for the victims. These people are not going to get away with this. And I feel like we just need to turn our minds toward higher things, towards better things. Hate for hate does not work. Okay? We need to release that energy. We need to move forward a step at a time. Focus on what we're trying to accomplish, what we need to do. And the angry energy, it tends to take care of itself. Also, grounding. Grounding just simply means chop wood, carry water continue going, and things just kind of like naturally tend to work themselves out. That's the best natural antidote for that angry mental energy. No matter what its source is, whether it's a bombing or whether it's resentment about paying your taxes or whether it's something else in your life right now that's, that's ticking you off, just go ahead and focus on the good and the positive and doing your daily deeds and the rest of the stuff. It just, it just works out the way it's supposed to. So the third and final card is quite nice actually. Now our third and final card is a Four of Pentacles. Mm. Sun in Capricorn, entitled Power, Manifestation, Grounding, forming that firm power base from which we can build upon. So you're going to find as you persist in your efforts towards what you wish to do, that you're going to find their security. You're going to find their stability, that those efforts are through persistence and patience going to pay off because those are virtues for Capricorn. Persistence, patience, sacrifice, ambition too, okay, and really focusing on number one and focusing on ourselves and what's important to us is going to win the day. So there you go. The blog blazed. You blazed with it. We got some nice things to look forward to towards the end of the week. Some good manifest, good manifestation, good manifesting energy and a sense of stability. What more could you ask for? Besides a million dollars. Nah, just kidding. I hope you do hit a million dollars. I hope that you have all the blessings that you richly deserve, that you achieve all things that you wish to achieve, spiritually, emotionally, and physically, financially, whatever. And until we meet again next week, many, many blessings.